What up y'all, it's the Jeff Wilson here at the Texas Fish Room. And it's been a long time since I've made a video for the channel. I've actually had a lot of stuff going on, which I wanna get into. Well, back around the end of May, beginning of June, I ended up getting Lyme disease. And I've been fighting that for the past few months. I'm finally almost out of the clear on that. It's been rough. I mean, a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I wouldn't think a little small tick would do as much damage as it did. But I ended up getting bit by a tick right off in here. Messing with my cat one day. And next thing I know, I'm down. I'm... I was breaking out in these hives. My temperature was constantly going up and down. Dramatic swings, getting from 96 degrees to 103 degrees. And ended up going to the doctor, seeing what was wrong with me, and found out I have Lyme disease. So over the, the past several months, I've gone in for actually several rounds of doxycycline, I think is what it is. And it's finally starting to clear up. Now, the issue with it, like I said, I can't get too hot. I can't, and when I do, I start breaking out in hives. My joints constantly ache, and so I just, it's hard for me to get out and do anything. I'm um, finally at the point where I can start doing, not quite normal, but back better than what it was. So I'm able to stand on my feet for a few hours now on end, where before, after five minutes, I had to sit down and there was no way around it i just hurt joints i mean it's just like someone's taking uh, needles and just stabbing me over and over in my joints uh at the same time i was still having a little bit of a temperature swing so it also my temperature would spike up and come back down it was very most of it wouldn't last too long luckily but enough where heck i had this i couldn't do anything um but the good thing is i'm at the tail end of it doctors are liking what they're seeing uh still constantly going for blood work and i'll probably end up doing that probably two or three more months the way it's looking uh just start hopefully it was my last round of doxycycline um but overall i'm feeling a lot better back to where i can start working on the fish room again but also at the same time, I am going to be making some changes. Um, channel's still going to be mainly focusing on fish, but I'm somewhat going to incorporate more of what I do into this. As a result, I'll end up changing the channel name to Jeff Does What, where I can bring in whether it's some of my buying the machine stuff, my music career. Uh, I know some of y'all keep up with that. Not a whole lot of y'all know that, but... Um, because, heck, we just got back doing some stuff with Almighty Soulfly. If y'all know who they are, man, it was a, I mean, it was a lifetime experience there. And cool thing about it was I got to hang out with Dino from Fear Factory because he was filling in for guitar, one of the guitars with Soulfly. So, I mean, it was just great. Now, like I said, that did take a big toll on me there. That, oh, I was, I was hurting pretty bad for a while after that, after them shows. But, I mean, it was phenomenal experience and i want to be able to bring some of that stuff to this channel as well as some other stuff like the finn company which is uh an apparel line i'm working on as well uh we actually just released our two new hats you can follow the link right there um and also i mean i'm just trying to show more what i do because i have a lot of hobbies whether it's my music the fish room uh grilling making beer um that way i can just show a little bit more what i do like i said the channel is still mainly going to be focusing more towards the fishing and the hobby because heck it's how i relax and i got tons of tanks i'm ready to get up and going now that i can finally start working again i've been out here doing water change day to day so i've been sweating in my shop make sure everything is going good and able to spend more time with the fish trying to get them healthier hopefully i can get more start breeding where i can sell again because uh, i ended up taking down 
a whole lot of my small shrimp tanks and guppy tanks just because I couldn't handle it. Um, now all my guppies ended up in my fish tubs outside, which there is some beautiful guppies in there. I'll try to get some small clips to show y'all here in a few minutes. But thank y'all for still who all is still subscribed with me and my new subscribers that we've ended up picking up over the past few months, even though I've just been making small little community posts. Um, but hopefully I can start bringing y'all more great stuff ahead. And let me show y'all what I still got going on in the fish room. As y'all see, the koi and the comet looking great. I may able to just sit out here and watch these guys for hours on end. I mean, granted, I wish they weren't as scared of me as they are, but it is what it is. And somewhere off in here, uh, he's hiding our common pleco he's actually the length of these two cylinder blocks now actually some of them still sticking out over here but his head's somewhere off in this area so this is now our double black angel tank slash l144s and of course l144s are hiding doing what they do they were in a 55 gallon in the house. I broke it down to bring out here in the process of it, I sprung a link in it. So they ended up in here with the angels. I'm hoping I can get these to start breeding real soon. Cause I mean, they just look gorgeous. Tank is still messy from the water change earlier. And in fact, I just upgraded their filtration to FX6. Did have a Title 110 on here. I wasn't impressed with the performance of it. Once I added all of these plecos in here, and there is one super red. Lonely by himself. I always forget about him because he's pretty good at hiding. But these angels just look so good. And hopefully, like I said, I can get them to start breeding. Well, I tried to film these things earlier. It was right after the water change. I didn't like how clean they were. So here again, this is now our 55 gallon beta tank. And there's some Real small corridors off in here somewhere. But this is mainly meant for this beta that is pretty much loving life having this 55 almost all to himself. And of course he wants to hide. And I can't find any. Oh, there's some of the quarries. That got a horrible reflection and can't see. So here we have the convict tank. As you see there, I mean, they're just looking gorgeous in there. They're ready, much ready for their tank upgrade. I got a 125 for them. I just haven't had a chance to build the stand. I give these things away as quick as I can, can. Not too many people's been wanting them here lately, but if anyone needs some convicts, let me know. Got lots of them, plenty of breeding pairs of them as well, if you need them. These, these did come from Ohio Fish Rescue, which SC Aquatics sent to me. Surprisingly, there's not a lot of aggression in this tank. Now, granted, they do eat probably a few hundred fry a day because they're constantly breeding nonstop. 
And that's how we end up with no telling how many in this 55. And over here, we still got the shovel nose. He's been doing great. The phantom, phantom pleco. He's actually out where we can see him for once. And then the Oscars. That one decided he would try to jump out of the tank the other day and cut himself pretty good. Luckily, he's healed up real well. Did have to do a big water change, put some meds in there, and just keeping an eye on him to make sure it heals up well. I don't think he's gonna show me that side. But I do have a tank upgrade for them out there as well, since I can get some help putting it on the stand. So when I built the stand for here, heck, six, eight months back, And of course, we got the Mabunas and Peacocks. These things have been crazy aggressive, especially that one right there. He did go on a killing spree one night and took out four of the Mabunas and one Peacock. So I'm down to two Peacocks in here. Wish I only had yellow labs in here because the yellow labs have been great since they breeded with the Kenyes. He's half yellow lab, half Kenyi. He's been extreme, they're extremely aggressive. And of course, they want to hide because they know I'm filming, but he's also now trying to attack uh, other fish as well right now. So. Now, for one, I get asked the most, how's my summer tubs doing? You can look at them. I mean, there is guppies. Everyone look at the colors on that. We have guppies everywhere. There is a wide variety of colors. We got some phenomenal looking blues off on some of these. Yeah, I know there's duckweed everywhere. That's what happens, especially outside in the sun. Let me get the net so y'all can see a little more of these. Look at some of these colors we have. Look at that blue that just jumped in there. I mean, that one actually has a little spinal problem, but some of these colors we have are just crazy looking. Let's see if I can. There's one I want. Yep. But as you see, we have tons of guppies in here right now. So as you see, the summer tubs have been doing great as well. We got lots of random different guppies. Like I said, I did put all my guppies in here. Um, and this is the only guppy tanks I have now. So they're no longer individually lime bred. But here before too much longer, it's gonna be cold enough. I'm gonna start taking these down and I'll end up posting some of these to give away or to sell, whatever. Um, let's go check out the other tanks. Well, y'all once again, Thanks for watching this. Thanks for keeping up with Texas Fish Room. And this coming weekend, I will be in Aquashella, Dallas. So if you happen to see me around, hit me up and I can give you some free decals I'm making up. And if you're one of the lucky ones, you might even get a free shirt. Not, not this one, but my actual the license plate shirt I have. Uh, I'm gonna print a handful of them tomorrow uh, so I can hand out at Aquashella, Dallas. 
If y'all see me around, uh, feel free, stop by, say hi, talk, whatever. Um, y'all take it easy.